I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Let me remove him off the screen. Now you see this young lady right here? All I can say is allegedly, allegedly, because I don't know. But Lil Birdies was saying that this young lady used to travel with Keith Freeman. Like friends. I don't know. Love of friends. Nothing. I don't know about that. But they used to travel a lot. And it seemed like her mannerism changed right around the time Keith Freeman got in trouble for fouling that stupid bankruptcy um fouling told y'all when i made that live that night where i couldn't wait to talk i was like well let me talk about keith freeman. he fucked up he fucked up he fucked up he fucked up first and foremost you made a lot of money and then you you probably put 25 percent of it not even having a common sense that they will audit you this man i'm jumping the gun i'm jumping the gun he's a fool now let's move on. We're gonna just show um Thornton Township the agenda. You knew what it was. We could just throw it on the screen real quick because they just shot everything down mostly, and then she tried to shoot one thing down. Make yeah, you know, I forgot what if she voted for to, to say no, but she was happy about that. Then you was happy, like, I gotcha. Y'all said yes, I said no. It's crazy, she crazy. So this is the call for yesterday in the um, general funds, general assistant funds, road and bridges. So what I want y'all to pay attention to, what me and you're going to go into us, please hit the like button, hit the like button later on in the broadcast. We're going to go back into the general funds. And in the general funds, a general assistant funds specifically, those are the funds that are allocated to the food pantry where Thicker than a sticker, KP runs. And I had some serious question why the, the budget was so big. Why it was so much spending? I let the cat out the bag, but I'm going to show you that it was tremendous spending in your food pantry in Thornton from 2021, 22, 23, and 24. It is not a joke. This is something that I think you guys need to ask. Um, what's going on with that food pantry? There's one specific item that I don't understand that I ask you guys to ask because that's where a lot of the money is coming from. And now the same person who's over that food pantry, she's telling y'all to ask them some questions because they may be taking Keith Freeman's position. You should be a little nervous you should be a little nervous especially with the spending thank god for the trustees who are putting their feet down because she's trying to run the well dry in um thornton as though it happened in dalton and i'm still working on breaking down the numbers for dalton all i have is 2021 i'm gonna have a whole video that i put together for the first <laughs> 90 days that's sad of how much spending was gonna like take place under Henry and Dalton. And then we have the 2021 budget, and they were actually at a surplus in Dalton. But after that, it's pretty much crickets and a mystery. Okay, so what is this? This is the 51 50. Okay, let's get to this. We're gonna watch a first few minutes of it. All right, my little, my little note paper. 
There we go. See if I can kind of skip through this a little bit, but we're going to listen. I'm going to say thank God that she didn't pull the distraction tactic that she did last month. We had all of these people coming in talking about they checks, they checks, they checks, and nobody's really focusing on the process. They were dealing with a whole lot of emotionalism. Oh, I got to do this. I got, And that's understandable. But there's a process. And now that the FBI is involved, ain't nobody playing. Put it to paper. Do it the right way. So let's get this started. Let's listen. We're going to kind of do a first 15, 20 minutes, and then we're going to keep things moving. Is there a motion to approve the general fund? Is there a second? Wix. Why you guys you doing like that? Of- hold on, y'all. And um, hold on. This is brought to you by the Lancet Journal. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. Trustee Gray Everett? No. Trustee Carlisle? No. Trustee Gonzalez? No. Trustee Jones? Supervisor Henry? Yes. Tackle? Right? That's a tackle. Okay. Anyone with y'all on the Trustee? Y'all pay I want to give a public reason why we not going to do that. Okay, nobody? Well, for me, um, I'd like to say, so I think at some point in time, there needs to be inclusion, equity, and compromise from the administration. Um, I know we did send over some ordinances that didn't get placed on the agenda, and those ordinances were put in place, and we're even creating ordinances at this point. Oh, let's get to that. Um, I think I have a picture of that ordinance that they tried to, in, in, to, to enforce or to actually bring on. To the record yesterday do i got that ordinance where is it hold on one second let me pull it up on the screen real quick because what was it let me make sure i have it mm-hmm. yeah it's a lot going on yesterday here we go so let's get to these this ordinance real quick which one is it is it that so this was the um, first one in order to establish a policy for the equitable rotation of event locations for Thornton Township, uh, Cook County, Illinois, ordinance to regulate event expenditures and budget approval for Thornton Township in Cook County, Illinois. And then they have another one. Let me just close that out because I don't want to have both of it. I be getting confused. And let's see. Was it another one? Wasn't it two? Wasn't it two ordinance? One was about the um, spending. Let's put this one up. So pre- this is a press release. The majority of the Thornton Board trustees are being blocked from taking significant steps to introduce ordinance that will cap spending and minimal- minimize no- non-approved spending by Supervisor Haney. The proposed measures aim to improve the financial integrity and accountability of the township. We're proposably excluded from the Tuesday, July 16th meeting um, agenda by members of Hingard administration. Despite the setback, the township trustees remain committed to moving forward with these incentives. We are dedicated to protecting the township interests and ensure that we act in the best interest of our residents. So this was an official statement from Carmen. Told you Carmen stepping up. She ain't about to play. She trying to be the supervisor. Watch. I'm just playing. I don't know. I'm just making a prediction. But it does look like people are trying to protect themselves. There's no more playing with Henry. There's no more playing with the feds. None of that. Okay. So that was there. Also, there was this email. And I think it was presented by Jedediah and I, someone else in the uh, Dorton Politics group. Let me pull it up. That email from Keith Freeman, that wrinkled piece of paper. I was like, what the hell is this? I couldn't even read it. I was trying, but I got to it. But this was about the document um, sending. And, pre- and let's let's put that up there. Now, I, at first, like, you know, things be so abstract. It'd be like just shit going on. Like, what the hell? What is this going on? What is-? But then when you watch everything, you figure out what's happening. So this was, oh, shoot. Look at me, my crazy. I don't have to put it up big, but basically, because I can't read it like that. This was from Keith Freeman to everyone, basically saying that listen, 
We're going to have to do everything by email. If you request something, if you have any pushbacks from people and they're not following the actual protocol, please let me know immediately. This is what he's saying in a nutshell. I'm like, ho, Bamelin, ho, Black Bay. Where'd that come from? So is T. Freeman still there? Because that wasn't KP. That wasn't thicker than a snicker. So I'm trying to still determine because there's no official um, nothing out that Keith Freeman is not, you know, employed. But this was from him. And this was the tone. And that's why I was asking, like, okay, you got Carmen st sticking to her guns or whatever, saying, like, oh, I need it in email. I need everything in writing. And then you get that from Keith Freeman. You like, oh, people sticking together. You know what I'm Travel buddies, allegedly. So I, that's what I said. The switch in Carmen happened around Keith Freeman's situation. That's what I, I noticed. If y'all notice something different, let me know. But I'm about to get to this video. I just want to get to some of those things to show you so I won't forget. We got a lot more to go. Okay, I'll be just be collecting stuff, trying to put the whole picture together. I'm like, wait, let make this make sense. But when we finish with this, y'all take notes and know what to ask in this next board meeting. Because if y'all got key press, thicker than a snicker, he put his ass on the screen. I'm going to rob him too because he's a nasty. He's a nasty. I'm sorry, I'm trying not to curse. Fat. All right, I don't like him. He's disgusting. And the chaos that he tried to bring here, that he brings to every single meeting, he's going to bring that into the administration. If he's outside causing chaos, that's something different. This ain't going to be over some big money. Well, he always been over big money once y'all see the budget on food pantry. Anyway, I'm going off. I'm going on a tangent. Let's finish and listen. I just had to kind of flash to what was, you know, get everybody up to par, even though y'all know what's going on, but we're doing a synchronized order. Let's go. You asked me a question about the virus. Right. So maybe not That's what I'm doing. Do you want to respond or not? I do, but I want to talk about So again, so it was to put, you know, organization and structure and responsible spending in place. And since those ordinances were not placed on the agenda, um, I don't feel comfortable supporting the city. So once the ordinances are put in place and supported, I'll feel more comfortable if there's structure organization and um, a limit set and is forced, you know, not forced, but just enforced that there's responsible spending with the township funds. So that's why I'm not supporting the bills. Okay, where is it not responsible spending? You need to point it out because you're saying that and have no evidence of that. Just See, you can't go up there not saying, not having the evidence part because I would have been like right here. In this bill that I'm about to show everybody tonight, right here, look at all these lines. You want to take a picture? Let's put it on the big screen. Carmen, now that you're calling out stuff, baby, now you got to come with the paperwork. They gave you 500 pages. You better sit down and spread them shits on the floor and figure it out when you get there and say, hey, I went over 250. This was too much, but this is what I did. You got to do something, okay? Don't let this broad call you out. I'm talking to them, okay, y'all? We having a conversation here. Carmen, I know you're watching. You got to stand up. Just saying things. So tell the public where you, you see that there's no responsible spending. Mm -hmm. So this is all the department heads, all the department heads. People that don't know how this works, every people that come on here comes from a department head. She knows that. So if they have a question, they ask the question, they answer the question. So their job as trustees is to legislate. They come up here and they say yes or no. But when you say no, give the reason for why you do not want to pay a bill to the department head in the department already. So and we have invoices and credit card statements. You have all that. Let me, I'm gonna finish. Let me finish your argument. I'm coming to you. Uh, so can you please tell them where you see something that's wrong? I just gave my statement. No, 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 no. I asked for certain things I did not receive, and again, I made my statement, and that's where I stand. Okay. Oh, no, I don't come back wrong. But that's your statement. You got stuff you didn't receive. That's that's your statement. You didn't win. Wouldn't it be no. crazy if you could? I'm sorry. Yeah, I was about to say something, too. They got um, the lawyer looking like a damn dinosaur and shit, looking like he just there, like some putty. Look at this. Look at this fool. That's what I stated, and that's the way I want to receive information from your administration. Yeah, so I made my statement. Okay, trustee, you, you are so wrong with everything that you're trying to do here. Um, I think that you should tell people the real reason why you're doing all this chaos here at the township when the township is actually doing better than where it was. I became the supervisor. Um, before that, you said on the other side, which is administration, and you know exactly the process, you know exactly how it works, and I do the exact same thing that you did when you was in administration. Now you are a trustee, trustee, so you should be 
with hundreds of people on why you're doing all this chaotic stuff. I'm gonna have Carmen to speak to your wife because you're telling the public. Don't story. even look at her, Carmen. You got to hit her with her you're like, do that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Carmen. Straight face. The media, while they're out here saying that we are not being transparent. One thing we pride ourselves on here at Fort Township is transparency. Mm -hmm. We have dental backwards for you. We have sent uh, emails out to you, text messages out to you. We've given you documentation. We printed it. We emailed it. What more do you want us to do? Real soon, uh, you are becoming, um, what's the word I want to use? You're harassing the staff. The staff don't feel comfortable with you. Constantly calling them, asking them for things. Um, your job is to contact Keith Price and get your information like we would do with anybody of government. Keith Price. So everybody, they saying that this is new, right? Because I never hear people contact Keith Price. So it's supposed to be Keith Freeman, right? So I just we just we just speculating right now what's going on. Price has been really really open to anything you asked for, and so has Robert Hunt. Robert Hunt has given you every document you asked for. So we got to get up here and grandstand for the public. I don't appreciate it. You guys want to put us in a bad light? I don't appreciate it. All right, that's enough from Tiffany. Now we're going to get to her bully and Mr. Hunt. She said, get up there. Look, look at it. Get your ass up there. Go. And then I tell you to sit down. Let's listen to how she regulate Robert, her accountant, whoever the guy is, treat him like she treat him like shit. I'm sorry, now, Robert Hunt. Tell me what trustee uh, Carmen right here have been sending you emails, how many meetings she has counseled. But I said, like, I don't appreciate everything I've done with what is with Cindy, with transparency, with committed to the township. I've been on an up and up. So if you were sitting here and saying that, you're, you're dead wrong. Rob right, Hunt, go to that stand and you tell me what Carmen asked you for and what's been going on. So the public. So them. if you sent emails, okay, you have those emails? Robert, the public needs to know. Robert, go the public needs to know that as well. Do you have those emails? I didn't think so. Oh, These two right here, they're going to get into it. See, if you're still trying to observe what's going to go on with your little leader, you blinded. And what's her name right here? I forgot her name. I'll pull it, I'll pull it up. I knew I should have kept that uh, thing up of her name. These two right here, they still trying to figure it out. I think, right, um, Lolita, she's going to turn faster than the old lady because the old lady is just probably going to ride a die to the end and act confused. This one? She, she, I gave you the opportunity last time because I think she was she missing the last meeting, but the one before where she was just looking around like she's trying to figure shit out. Don't take too long, girl. Study long, study wrong. You're gonna be right on the list. I'll check that paper, see if she on the DJ list too. No, don't worry about it. Don't dress on the We don't dress on the You want to chill out? We doing something right now, Robert Hunt. Tell me what trustee uh, Carmen right here have been sending you emails, how many meetings she has counseled okay. with staff that we have put in place, and she don't show up. Tell them the game that she is playing with for a township. Her job is to come here and do her job, which is to make sure that they do the will of the people. You got to work for other people. When you got to do the work, they should pay you. They should pay you all the tricks like they're doing. Please tell them. Explain. You now, look at his face. He don't want to have no parts to this shit. I feel bad for you. Boy, you should get your 30-day notice. I know this stressing you the hell out. He like, his face was like, Oh. Um, no, I definitely want to. Um, I want to say. Um, I guess we uh, want to make sure that there's a better, better communication. Um, party steps. Um, step how we want to move going forward. Um, I have email bills sometimes, but there are big files. Sometimes they are hard to download. So then we started printing bills, and then now it's like go back to email. So just um, we figure out what the system process or how we want to do it. I keep going forward doing it. Just, um, this, Don't this do that to my baby. He a little softy. He a little softy. No, but the main issue here, the same thing I'm going to always say, that is stupid, first and foremost, to be sending documents of finances and all this through the regular email. You're supposed to be sending it through a secured server. That's usually how professional businesses do when they have documents like that. That's why I don't understand why they don't have a shared platform. For everybody they have that even for small businesses like you could be a small business you could have five people that work for you on your team and y'all can have this platform we have a calendar you can assign stuff you can upload documents all of that and you telling me thornton or dalton cannot have a platform that uploads all of these large files so the trustees don't have to download them on a computer they, it is very heavy to download those on your computer and you have to have a lot of uh storage you know what i'm saying cleaning your thing out and doing i do it all the time so i just don't even understand why these 
this is the same damn conversation. Okay, so when y'all go to Thornton and Dalton, okay, please speak for your resident, Grace Levi, and ask, where is the shared platform for everybody to use to upload all important documents from their department that needs to be seen and shared amongst each other? Where the fuck is it? How are you sending this type of stuff through regular email and they're trying to encrypt it? Okay. I just had to throw that out there. Come on, y'all. Ask some questions when you get there. Don't just be arguing like, you're a criminal. You're going to jail. We know she's going to jail, then hell. But first, we got to put the facts out there so the FBI can pay attention. Because I don't know. You know, I don't mess with them to put hey, I ain't, But I will feed them the truth if they're going to do their job. You're going to do your job? I got you, baby. I'll be in the background like, look at that. Okay? Do your job. Do your job. Okay, let's get back to him. No, I kind of knew, but we we are trying to um start over pulling all the bills over 500 days. So we are getting all information together. We have sent emails. You know, those are big files. So they're, um, I know you said that you could have downloaded it. It was kind of big. It was messing up. Robert does do a good job at sending invoices uh, via email. And um, I asked for email, I mean, invoices that were printed, and I don't want to receive any information printed. I want all communication to be transparent, and I want it to be a documented form of communication where I can go back and Look at it if I did. So Robert and the uh, finance department does do a good job at the number invoices that I asked. Wait, wait, wait. Y'all see that? Y'all didn't even peep it in the background. That's why I said, look at this fat bastard. Excuse me. That lady right there with the orange pants just had to hold his damn hand because he was like about to jump up. This is what you about to get. Y'all didn't even peep that. I watch everything. I said, what the hell? See me? So what the fuck are you about to do? Because I'll be in the hood. I'll be used to be in the hood. You know, at a bar, people be creeping up in there. I'm like, what are you about to do? Look at this. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Why she holding his hand? Because he like he's about to jump the fuck up. This fat bastard. Excuse my language. I don't want to get in trouble, y'all. Y'all know. Hit the like button. Y'all know I got a potty mouth sometimes. And I want it to be a documented form of communication where I can go back and look at it if I need it. So Robert and the uh, finance department does do a good job at then over invoices that I asked for. So I'll make that. So y'all see the mess. Did she just tell y'all she did get invoices? I didn't even she, she get the invoice. Hold oh, on. Oh, no. She no, get the invoice. And that's what I'm telling you how to get it. If he printed it, you have it. If you get an email, you have it. So as long as he's giving you the documentation, your job is to go through it and make sure you're okay with it and ask questions before we get here. But we're not doing this for the public. That is the whole problem. And I don't know if you see that. Robert's being my off with it. Robert needs to tell you the truth. Robert, did she not ask you for it? And you emailed it and then you printed it, correct? Did you email it, Robert? Um, these bills, we, um, the bills last week, we emailed. These bills for this? But this, this meeting, um, we just printed, because when we emailed last week, when we emailed two weeks ago, there was difficulty um, for you to download. Yeah, she said it was a different part of So we said, okay. So we did print 500 pages, provide it to the clerk department, um, and just say it's available for you to pick up. Um, and then what did she do? She, she did pick them up, mm -hmm. and then uh, she, she was trying to say she would like to email to her. Correct. Right. So, so hold on, hold on. Let's be crystal clear. You cannot do what you're doing, trust me. As long as they are being transparent, they're giving you the documentation, you have it in your possession, that's on you. You are the back and want somebody to do another step. That ain't what we do. Our job is to give you what you ask for, and then your job is to talk about it. All right, Robert, you said I'll go ahead and take it. Go ahead, take it. Come up, fat ass. Oh, I'm sorry. God. Tell us, stop cursing. I don't want to. He, I don't like him. KP, the same way I feel about Henyard, how he just rubbed me wrong because he got so much of the devil in him and he's so arrogant. He's such a liar, a manipulator. Something about him. So, excuse me if I be a little ratchet because of him. Okay. You saw how he was sitting behind Carmen, staring at the back of her head so her braids could fall out ready to smack in the back of the head with the papers he gave her. Because he like, I gave her the paper. Let's let this fat bastard tell him. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hit the like button. Very clear on what we're doing. Long as no, we give you what you ask for, that's all that matters. Go ahead, KP. I mean, I got what you need. I got what you need. All right, go ahead, KP. You have the floor. Good evening, everybody. Residents, board of trustees. We're going to listen to a little bit of KP, okay? Not a lot, because I, I can't deal with him. I can't deal with him either. And basically, he's going to try to get on her about giving it to her. Now, I will say this. As I mentioned earlier, if in a situation like this, Carmen, if you got the papers in, and I'm going to acknowledge this, one of the uh, uh, KMAC print documents can be altered. Yes, it can be altered. It could be blank. It could be all types of stuff. So that is why um, those types of documents, I think, should be 
if I received the documents, I would have sat right in there like, wait a minute, we about to go through these shits before I walk up out of here. Not all of them one by one, but I would have definitely looked through them to make sure they wasn't retracted or they wasn't blank. In a situation like this, because she really needs to see stuff and him, you're always coming with. Show me it, show me it, show me it. Look, you want to run this shit down. Boop, 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 boop. You know how we're going to run it down at night. Like, look at this shit. Okay, so print documents can be altered. There are um, business, uh, what is it? Business Excel allows you to do that, share files. So there's programs like that. Simple, simple. This will stop all of this BS. Do you know how much money it costs to print over 500 pages? Like 56 cent a copy? Stop, stop it. A waste of damn money. Let's listen to this talk about, you see I blanked it out, right? This thicker than a snicker. Okay, well, let me stop. He made me mad. Let's listen to him for a few minutes because if that's going to be y'all administrator, y'all in deep doo-doo because we're going to get to him next. After this, we're just going to get to him. And before we get to him, I'm going to show you something that really alarmed me that made me mad in this. It made me mad. Nobody did anything. And that's it really, y'all better get it together here. I'm going to show y'all. Don't play. Don't play. Y'all better stick up for the people who stick all on this. Robert, that's what you like. Somehow, yeah, that's so what's going on. Uh, I don't like it either because once you start saying people aren't giving you things, you're saying that I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do as well. And I take that personally. This is two weeks ago, as Robert stated, he emailed the trustee everything she wanted. She had a problem downloading. Robert said, hey, can uh, would you care if we print off? I said, 60 ILCS states that. If she wants to review bills and invoices, she is to set up a meeting with the clerk. I said, print it off. He said, I'll print it off. I'll give it to the clerk. The trustee came in. I just got this file from the clerk. <laughs> Let's put this up. And Mr. Moore walk over there and grab it. This is the file that was printed out for her. Over 400, all the invoices, everything she asked for, everything. This is not small. Uh, trustee Carlisle has been sending a plethora of emails ever since I've known Trustee Carlisle. She has communicated with me via text message from when she was setting up box giveaways to currently when I asked her, hey, trustee, and I sent all the trustees the same message. Is there anything you want to discuss, got a problem with, with the upcoming meeting so we can discuss it and not look like a fool for the public? Well, guess what? Her boyfriend said no. He said emails, allegedly boyfriend. That's why she said they may have a conversation. This is just in my imaginary brain. They was chilling, eating lunch, like, listen, shit is hitting the fan. I done did this bankruptcy shit, and I think we fucked. I think I fucked up. So, if you don't want to go to jail, because I like you, I think you need to change your practices now. That's what we about to do. You going to say this, I'm going to do this. That's what I've been going on with Carmen and Keith Freeman at this point, because he's still in some type of position to be able to make this email you know, and allegedly if it has some, you know, weight in this situation. You see what I'm saying? Somebody working together. I get an email saying I'm harassing her because I asked her that. But I'm trying to be transparent and give her what she wants. These are all the bills that she picked up, walked away from the clerk's office, came back, and gave them back to the clerk. No one is hiding a damn thing. Mm -hmm. And I told Tiffany, I'm not staying here if we hide anything. So I don't know why this is occurring. I have my personal reasons why I believe it's happening. But these are all the invoices that she requested that was given to the clerk that she chose to give back to the clerk. And it's important information in here. And I'm going to give it back to Robert. And how many meetings did she cancel with y'all, with the staff? She canceled approximately 15 meetings. We set up meetings with the staff on several occasions by her request for transparency. For transparency. Mm -hmm. At take five, and you stay. I need to ask Carmen why she missed those meetings. Was she nervous? I'll be nervous messing with that fat bastard. Anything with him is going to be trouble. I wouldn't want to sit with him. I'm just saying. I'm not okay, gonna... excuse me. Can I be oh, I'm finished. Okay. Wait, wait. And this is what get me mad. You tell her to let this bastard finish his stuff. And when she talks, he interrupts her. And you don't say nothing because you want this chaos in the to be yelling at people and barking at them like a fat ass pit bull. Oh, God forgive me, because he makes me mad. Her email thread, got her email of our request right here. I got her thanking Robert for sending it. And then she come back after she left the clerk, 
and send another email that she'd rather have them in email form. After two weeks ago, she said it was too large and she couldn't download. It's obvious. Let me shut the head. It's sad because this township is not. Okay, going to that's enough. I'm tired of hearing him. Okay, so this basically what's going on here is that you see the general funds I, uh, let's get towards the end because i think they don't include the general funds the main thing that's very important is the general assistant funds let's just bypass him because he he had the floor for a long time so it's been, it's been um, a time once again that y'all not to pay um the people the employees the people here at the township so make sure y'all are trusty next is there a motion to pay the general assistant fund? is there a motion don't move is there a second second um, in your session, all right. Mm. Trustee Gray, Jesse Gray, no, Trustee Gonzalez, no, Trustee Jones, Supervisor Henry, yes. Who Jones? Oh, he's not there. Motion failed. All right, so just so y'all learn the rules, I gotta come and say no. General assistant fund and Ronald Bridge fund always get paid. Y'all do know that. All right, y'all. Y'all better pay attention to this general assistant fund, okay? Because we're about to get into it. I keep highlighting general assistant fund. It always get paid. And a lot of y'all money is going out of the general assistant fund. That's why y'all should learn that position while y'all sitting there saying no to paying staff, accounts, news, fake news. Make sure y'all get this. They send your vote not to pay people that have done a job that sometimes work check to check. Moving forward. Is that motion to pay the Brooklyn Bridge Fund? Is that motion? It, um, is that second? Second. Right. I mean, motion is second. In this session? Right. Who seconded it? You know they're not going to pay nothing. She's mad. Trustee Carlisle? Yes. Trustee Gonzalez? Yes. Trustee Gray Everett? Yes. Trustee Jones? Supervising Henry? Yes. Well, not bad. Go ahead. Um, yeah, because they don't have the food pantry in that motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. That's why they're going to play. Yeah. I just wanted to say for the record, uh, saying that you all received the the bills. Shut up. So next on the agenda is, is there a motion to approve three additional contractors for a half line, moon, and maintenance service at $35 per line? Is there? Let me ask y'all a question. How much grass actually grows in Thornton and Dalton? It's been dry as hell. I'm just going to just tell you. I ain't had my grass cut in about almost going on just the fourth week because it just rained. And uh, let me tell you, let me just get off the, the topic a little bit before we start talking about the grass for a second. Now, every time, y'all better pay attention. You see that? Listen, this is the Haitian coming out. I noticed, and I'm just saying this is maybe me. Look at the times when Henry got upset about something that didn't happen where, let's say, like, if you didn't pay contractor bills or the lawn care, things like that. It, it'd be some big-ass storm. Why y'all have so many storms in Dalton, in, in Thornton? I know, I know that's to the left, but y'all had a storm come up and it was it was already in the mm. Cause I just think that she may be a voodoo priestess. I'm just shut it up. Shut it up. That's just my opinion. She has too much protection over her. It's not just the gut, it's not just people around her. Y'all think it's be scared when people be talking about the spiritual. Y'all pray, right? Y'all be praying to God for stuff. But when somebody tell you somebody is dealing with other spirits outside of God, y'all be like, what? Yes. So just we going to note this today and note it the other time. It was a big storm that fell on somebody's car. And it was like a meeting where they said no to the, the roofs or something like that. And it was the roof program. Mm -hmm. Go look at that. And then go look at the news. The trees fell right all over on people, cars and houses. And again, what they show, some a big old tree uprooted into somebody's house. And I'm gonna shut up. Now, moving forward. <laughs> she, it's always this thing with the lawn. What is going on here, y'all? Why is this such a big deal with lawn care? I, I do like the fact that this town actually provides lawn care. Is it for everybody or is it just for seniors? Okay, so let's clarify that. Two, why is it such a big ordeal? Is it nothing else that y'all pay for? Is it nothing else that y'all pay for? It's just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. So I need y'all to pay attention to these lawn programs. Y'all been paying attention to the contractors. We highlight some crooked Joes. But then I don't, I, I didn't see like in the general assistant fund where it say lawn program. I'm going to see if I see it. 
We need to see how much money coming out this motherfucker. Because they love this lawn program. Y'all need to get outside, help them old people cut their own, cut their damn grass so that everybody can shut the hell up. Because I'm tired of hearing about this grass. Okay? Anyway, let's move forward. Now, pretty much everything almost dropped except for the what is the park roads and bridges. And then she tried to deny other stuff. But this is where I want to get into. So this is how it went down yesterday. Carmen Rodriguez, these two, they stood up. John Jerry said, I'm, I'm, I'm stressed. I'm not about to have a heart attack behind this shit. Let me just back up, not be here for a little while and see how the dice roll. But we already know that one, two, three is definitely turning. And this one, Lolita, she's just quiet. Is she supposed to vote, y'all? Let me know, because I, I didn't hear her vote at all. So y'all educate me on that. Now, this is the part, last part that I want to show y'all before we get into Keith Price, thicker than a snicker, Price. You know, she got so mad that she literally just in the meeting. She gave her a little funky, damn, the supervisor report was from 30. She talked for 10 minutes straight. Let me shut up. I'll be talking for two hours. But she talked for 10 minutes straight about the supervisor report. And then this is where I got a little bit upset about people did their comments and things, you know, see him on there. Let's get to this. This is where I got pissed. Did anybody see this? And why did nobody stand up? You telling me it took this. We understand that having your pet by your side is incredibly important. I had to play the commercial because I just froze. Like, you telling me, stop. Mr. Argument is. Y'all see this? Watch what happened. Nobody noticed this? This got me mad as hell. Because I would have been that daughter right there. First one up. I'm terrible like that. Now, I know I'm not the business. You don't know the process? What's the process? Get the daughter. She already on it like kryptonite. She like, bitch, jitsu, motherfucker, jitsu. Let me stretch because I'm about to knock a nigga out. Excuse my language. Watch baby girl right here. Now you telling me that he rent a cop that's in there and then pull the damn Trump assassination. You see it's about to be something going on here. You sitting in the back waiting? Huh? Shut up. You know how to throw that in. Pull a mother a delay. You see her? Why she there by her father? I think because she saw him and her going back and forth. You see her got her hand on her hip? Like, hold up. Because his son probably passed it like my son. So my daughter would have popped up first. And then my son would have came in the background like. So she already ready. Why does it take two teenagers to look like they have to stand up for their father? Because someone looks like, and I'm saying it with passion because I'm pissed. Looks like they're about to attack him. All this time, the security never came. Everybody's ignoring it. Can you come here and talk about these ordinances? I think it was another angle where you see like the guy walk soon. I guess as soon as the guy saw like the cop coming towards him or the rental cop, he kind of just turned around and walked out like smooth out, like don't like basically you don't gotta touch me. But I found that highly inappropriate. I was mad as hell. And I don't appreciate that. Y'all, we don't want violence. That's first and foremost. You stand up for each other. You stand up for these trustees. They're putting themselves in danger. Not only their career, money, livelihood. But you see this nigglet jumping in his face? Okay, let me... Stop. I'm glad you peeped that too. Don't play with my yo-yo. You already know. I don't play that. We be on it. Like, wait. The, what the? All right. So daughter jumped up. She had her little jitsu. You know, that's a jitsu stretch. Uh, I'm about to knock her fucker out. Oh, shit. Let me stop. I mean, hey, I, I don't promote women fighting men, but listen, if she looked like she had some work. She like she had some work. So y'all protect Rodriguez. Um, we already highlighted what's going on with Carmen, and now we're going to get into a little bit more of Keith Freeman. Now, this is just basically all my synopsis. I do believe Mr. Keith Freeman is feeling the heat with the FBI. 
because of him doing this stupid lawsuit. Hold on one second. That's Keith Price. Let me get to my um. Hold on. I have to switch. Switch. It's, it was so much stuff. Here we go. That I had to have a whole nother screen set up with like 10 tabs. All right. <laughs> we on it. We on it like kryptonite. All right. Here we go. And that was the tab I had with all my people name. So Lolita. Yeah, she don't say nothing. And Miss Darlene. Why don't Lolita don't say nothing, y'all? I'm looking at her picture right now. Because I was like, yeah, she don't say nothing. She a trustee. What is she? Because she had quiet in the money. She quiet. She nervous. All right. Where we at? Now, let me move some stuff over. Where we at? Okay. Keith Douglas Freeman. So we already know that this dumb jigger had tried to do a damn bankruptcy. And I think, I think that it's just minor. But this literally have him having fed charges. This man can face up to five years in prison for doing this. So what I'm seeing is that it's some backseas that happened. You see how he tried to take back um, basically his filing. So this was the original one. This is 528. Please take notice of Tuesday, June 4th, 2024. I'm appearing before the Honorable um, Dr. Uh, Donald R. Classing, a judge sitting in front of either courtroom. Hold on, let me get to the point of it. This is a Zoom meeting. This was in regards to his original notice of a motion. Let me see what motion this was. That of May 28th, uh, called. I caused to serve copies of notice of attached exhibit and prosperous registration. Hold on, y'all. All right. Motion to approve waiver of discharge. I should have just went down to the next page. And did. There we go. The motion to approve a waiver of discharge. Okay. So he went to go to bankruptcy court because he like, hey, I'm not about to pay none of these damn bills. I don't care. Whatever. But after they doing an audit and possibly talking to his lawyer, he got himself in trouble because they, that is fraud. You can't even file fake police reports. You're not supposed to do that. So to file a fake bank's rupsy, that's just like in the same realms of not paying taxes. You're going to have to see a judge and you may do some time. So what I think happened with this particular situation, that they actually approved this waiver, uh, motion to approve waiver of discharge of the debt. They approved it. Most recently, let me see if I had that up. Downtown Chicago spending. Um, hold on. Give me a second. Charter bankruptcy fraud. All right, there we go. Here we go. I has we got this. We got so much stuff up there. We got this. All right, so this is the original. Um, Filing for him to try to like take backs his take backsies because he knew he messed up. And as I explained to you, when you guys file bankruptcy, is y'all think that you don't think that you're gonna just give your stuff in? They do a, a whole audit, you know. And as I said, even in some of the contracts that I took, they had did some type of background check on me dealing with my debt. And I'm like, what the hell? So if they could do that to me and pull some things to make sure I'm in good standing. Of course, they can do that when it comes to bankruptcy court, okay? So now what I'm finding is that Orlando Man lied about income and bankruptcy filing. And this was the uh, April 16th. So this is when they found out. And that's where he's from. Orlando Park Man, a senior administrator of both the village of Dalton and Tulsa and Thornton Township has been charged in federal court with engaging in bankruptcy fraud scam involving the making of false statements in his bankruptcy petition to cancel from form a collectors, his assets and sources of income and, and a significant claim against him. So an indictment returned on Monday in the U.S. District Court in Chicago Char charges Keith Douglas Freeman, 45, with one count of bankruptcy. The charges carries a maximum sentence of five years in federal prison. Arraignment has not begun yet. According to the indictment in January 2024, Freeman, let me just put the article so y'all can see the article that I'm reading because y'all know I'll share it with you guys. And um, but this is so it 
people just thought it was just a bankruptcy and he filed it and, and you know, he taking it back. No, the nigga is going to be in trouble. So as, you know, as a person in that situation, the feds is going to use him as a mule, I believe. And this is why you see his tone has changed and he's not being more, he wasn't being so transparent as far as verbally, because the last time we saw him in adults and meeting, meet, he was still shucking and jobbing and shit. Talking about, well, how you couldn't talk to me about that earlier? You want to put us on the, on the spot? Hell yeah, because you just reading off items off of a piece of paper and then they ask you, where is the paper? Oh, I didn't send it to everybody, but I posted in the main area so all the trustees can see. Did y'all peep that? I don't, I don't even have to show that. I'm like, what? Is this trigger crazy? Is, is he crazy? So he ain't having, he don't got no damn mind. So again, what he, I think now, so he can mitigate him facing five years. He's possibly working with them. So now we have Jared Garman, Rodriguez, possibly Keith Freeman, because if, you're hearing her yell, fat ass KP, thicker than this nigga KP, ask him administrative questions and financial report papers. Where is Key Freeman? So we're just waiting for that to disclose. But according to the indictment in January 2024, Freeman filed a bankruptcy petition in the United States Bankruptcy Court in Chicago. The petition includes schedules and statements of financial affairs, a document in which the debtor is required to identify, among other things, all his assets and sources of income, as well as any claims against him. So that right there is going to highlight a significant amount of income, which is going to prompt the FBI and the people who are looking at this to start looking at you know, the increase of his income and people income in Thornton Township, okay? Um, as we talk about, we're going to get into some of the, um, some income papers and that's all on, on, on Dalton, uh, politic page. And we're going to give a shout out to not Naji. I think that's his name. He is on point. And actually also Paul Rodriguez, he's on point. He has a whole list of oh, Rodriguez. Oh my God. Paul Roberts. I'm looking right at the name, Paul, Mr. Paul Roberts. One of my favorite uh, math guys out there in Dalton. He has a document he put out there on May 24th, question concerns proposed township budget of 2024 to 25. So I had that document too. And we can look over the series of questions that he's asking. Okay. And you guys may need to take one by one and ask those daggone questions. But as we get back into Keith Freeman, Keith Freeman may be ready to blow the whistle because of this. So we are renamed about four right now. And this is the update to show that he was granted the waiver because it was just an update the other day. He was, he was just granted the shit. So that's why shit changing out there. Something happening. He like, okay, we grant you the waiver and you start talking. Nick, Nick. So this, this was, this had to be re-updated, but this, um, this is highlighting that on this was actually June. The bankruptcy court, okay, districts of Illinois has granted Keith Freeman voluntary motion. So in June into July, they say the fifth. So about a month ago, he was granted this. So he has about three, four weeks where he he telling ass right now, in my opinion. That's what I think right now. That man right there, you see that man right there? He's 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 talking. So let me just get into some of the um, documents that has been put up on Dalton Politics highlighting some of the salary increases. Let's get to, let's see if I could get to the comments too, because I've just been going. I always thought that Gonzalez was ignoring, but uh, ignorant, but apparently he actually had a contract with Dalton for $50,000 to point the township hall what did it say? To paint the township hall. And then that is why, that's why I nominated her not knowing. So what do you mean? I mean, what what, do you, what, what about Gonzalez? I'm a little confused. Y'all be giving me too much detail. Gotta, I'm like, what? Okay. The YouTube streets were saying months ago that allegedly Freeman wore a wire for the feds. This is a lot to consume. <laughs> 
you, you I mean, you seeing the changes, you seeing the tide changes, you see. So now it's making sense because we kind of putting everything, all the pieces together, like, oh, shit. In all her posts in the beginning, people next to me, I got to watch who this. Yeah, baby. Because allegedly they were saying that Keith Freeman was sent by the higher ups to watch that. But he crooked. The Chicago crooked. Let me shut the hell up. Illinois crooked. Anyway, um, it's, Rod it's Gonzalez. You're talking about Gonzalez? Hold up. You're talking about Robert? I've been calling him the wrong name this whole time. Don't beat my butt. I was calling him Rodriguez. Is that? Let me just look at this up real quick. It'd be all all of these people. Hold on, I got it. I got it. I'm gonna get. I did. I've been saying the wrong trustee name all this time. Y'all know me. I I was trying to get better with these names. Just put it in the comment because I'm not about to switch on my thing and get all lost messing with y'all. My husband will try to get it together. Anyway, moving forward, is Gonzalez calling him Rodriguez all this time? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Keith is trying to save his own ass. Yes, he. Drunk as f yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah, slide the city. Omani Jimoto, you slide the city. Slide the Imagine if my small business blew up overnight and I woke up to some sales. Boost this video so people who like my products can find me. Algorithm. Where you at, bitch? Cause I'm tired of posting viral content and getting two and a half likes. We finna fight ho.